do you snore? No. Wake up with dry mouth? Sometimes. Okay. Uh, it could mean you're not sleeping very well and it's leading to sleep problems. Health reporter Haley Hernandez with more on how we sleep at night. Yeah, good morning, guys. So a posture expert looked at all the pros and cons associated with each sleep position and found that you can also eliminate these negative side effects by changing the way you lay. Do you sleep on your stomach, back, or on your side? Which way is best? Some sleeping positions offer more benefits than others. The fetal position is the most popular way to sleep as 47% of Americans sleep like this. While it gives your spine a rest, research shows that sleeping on your side helps to clear the waste in your brain that can lead to Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. The log position helps cut down on sleep apnea and reduces neck and back pain. But avoid lying on your stomach. Though the free fall is the second most popular position, it can lead to low back and neck pain and leads to more tossing and turning all night long. And your back isn't much better. The soldier causes not only snoring, but can also cause thickening of the carotid artery. This position is also not safe for women in late pregnancy, but it does keep your head, neck, and spine in a neutral position while also being the best position for heartburn. Now, if you do sleep on your stomach, your pillow height is critical to your neck health, meaning you may want to consider ditching your pillow altogether so you're not raising your neck too high. And if you're someone who enjoys that long position, you can place a soft pillow or folded blanket between your knees while you rest to ease up that pressure on your hip. I just learned that trick that a few years you, ago. Yeah, it's a big I saw one, you nodding sure, about absolutely. that one. It'll help your spine health, yeah. Nice. Whatever works. I love pillows, so I can, uh, could never ditch the <laughs> pillow. I have many pillows in my bed. So. More the better.